Check out this newspaper headline. Take your jobs plan and shove it, Mr. President. Now, that controversial headline appearing in the Chattanooga Times Free Press, and tonight the editor who wrote it himself is looking for a new job. Drew Johnson joins us. Nice to see you, sir. Well, thanks for having me. So, uh, what provoked that headline? Well, what provoked the headline was uh, the fact that uh, President Obama was speaking in Chattanooga on Tuesday, and his economic policies have failed Americans. And um, when it came time to write a headline for it, I just thought, uh, you know, thought of that good old uh, Johnny Paycheck so song, Take This Job and Shove It. And since it was about, uh, his speech was about jobs plan, I thought it was uh, uh, a pretty apt title. Who fired you? Uh, I was fired by the editor of the paper. And, uh, I mean, had he not seen what was being put into the paper? I mean, there's any sort of review process? Well, the way it works is that it's very common for us to change headlines at the last second before something goes to, to publication. Uh, in this circumstance, I, I had a placeholder headline, something that wasn't really ever intended to be the actual headline for the piece. And so at the last second before it, uh, it went to publication, I, threw the, I thought of that Johnny Paycheck song, uh, threw that in there. And the next day, I had a meeting with the editor. She said that um, she was disappointed in the headline that she thought it was crass and she'd gotten a lot of complaints by Obama supporters and she was going to put in place a new protocol, a new policy whereby if I, if I or anybody else changed a headline at the last minute, they needed to run it by somebody. Um, today I come into work and am told that I'm fired for violating that policy uh, that wasn't put that in place until the day after I wrote the piece. I was just going to say, this. so the policy she put into effect the day after you wrote the piece and it was published and you got fired for it? Right, so a retroactive firing. Um, is, I, I take it that, I mean, an editorial, this is an editorial, this is an opinion piece, right? This was never meant to be a factual. This is your opinion, or I guess, was it on behalf of the paper or is it on behalf of you? This is a, an editorial. It is, I, I basically was hired to be the editorial page editor of one of the most uh, conservative, free market, uh, limited government editorial pages in America. And so, obviously, writing something like, uh, like I did something critical of Obama's job plan is certainly in line with with most of my readers and and what I was supposed to do as a conservative editorial page editor. So now you're looking for a new job. I am, yeah. And um, another another job lost uh, because of Obama, right? <laughs> but there is that. Anyway, well, good luck, sir, in your job search. Well, thanks so much, earlier. Appreciate it, Greta.